Good day everyone, it's Dr. Watson, and you're watching the Off-Kilter Crafter. Hey everybody, it's Ian, the Off-Kilter Crafter. Hope you're having a great day today. So today's project is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be crafting per se, it's going to be more towards maybe like science fair, even like kids science fair project. As many of you know, I work at a science museum and I'm always looking for opportunities to educate where you wouldn't really expect education to happen. So today we're going to be doing a cool little craft project, science fair experiment, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to be making a planisphere today and this is a very cool tool to help you see what's going to be in the sky what stars and constellations are going to be in the sky uh, each night. I got this template online. I'll put a link to this specific project down in the description below. Click down there. You may have to click the show more button and that will show more of the description and all the things that are included with this video. So I'll put the link to this specific one in that section. And in this video, I'll show you how to take all these pieces from that download that you get. But again, I wanted to give credit to the Discovery Channel for creating this file. This is not my file, but it is a file that they have created and I have taken and changed into a JPEG. I also think they partnered with the Pacific Science Center. It's hard to see, focus camera. Uh, I think they partnered with the Pacific Science Center to do this project and if you have not been to the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I actually got to go check out the Pacific Science Center when I was in Seattle. It was a pretty cool museum. I, of course, am a little biased because I like the museum that I work at, but I definitely like to check out other museums across the country and it's kind of like my goal to go around and just check out all the different museums around the country and even around the world too. Anyways, a planisphere helps you to find what's going to be in the nighttime sky just by spinning this wheel right here. You can see that during different months, different constellations will be visible at different times of the evening. So you just spin this outer wheel and you can set it up here. We have the time and then we have the date and I'll explain how all of that works in just a little bit. So stick with me. The first thing we're going to do is going to be importing this file into Cricut Design Space. Um, it didn't have the back. This is just a black piece of cardstock and then I did a print then cut for both the um, black part up here and then the star wheel was also a print then cut. And I'll show you how to import both of these files into Cricut Design Space using the new Cricut Design Space 2.0. So let's go ahead and get started by importing this into Cricut Design Space 2.0. All right, everybody, here is how you can import those files to Cricut Design Space 2.0. So first of all, you'll need to convert them from the original website downloads into a JPEG. You can do this several ways, one of which is you can find one of the many websites on the internet that will convert them for you. Just do a Google search for an image converter or website converter and you can find many, many, many that will do it for free. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm in Cricut Design Space 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Cricut Design Space 2.0 looks very similar to what it did in the original version, but there's been some upgraded features for sure. So first thing we need to do is we need to click over here at Upload Images. Now I've already added these into my uploads, but I'll show you how to do it so that way you can do it. You're going to go over here to the basic upload and hit image upload. You're going to browse for the file that you're looking for and you're going to find the first file. I'm going to go ahead and put in the planisphere one first. So I'm going to click that and hit choose. And I'm going to do this with the simple image upload because it's only black or white. So here's what is imported into Cricut Design Space. Now, the easiest way to edit it is to first grab the crop tool and we're going to crop a large portion of this out just like that. Draw a box around the planisphere and let go and it selects it down just to that area. The next thing we're going to grab is the magic wand. Select and erase and it, I'm going to click into the white area out here and it automatically deletes all that white area out there that I don't want. 
And then I'm going to come in here inside because you want this white oval to cut out as well. So I'll click that and get rid of that. Now I still have some pieces left over and that's very easy to fix. All you have to do is hit the erase and choose the size of the eraser and then get rid of it just by erasing everything else. And just like that, you're ready to go. So I continue down over here in the right hand corner. Just to make sure though, let's go ahead and hit preview, which is now moved down to the very bottom right here. Click preview. That shows us that everything is clean and ready to be imported. So we'll hit continue. And then we'll name it Planisphere 1. We'll add some tags. I added like astronomy and star chart and stuff like that. I added some keywords over here. And you will also want to make sure this box down here on the right is checked. It says preserve original image with shapes. So we want to make sure to do this because we're doing a print then cut. And you'll hit save. So we're going to do the same thing with the wheel, with the actual planet sphere wheel that has the stars on it. Again, go browse, pick up the image you want, hit the simple image, import, and once again, we're going to go ahead and select just the wheel. We only want the wheel. So we're going to do that. Get rid of the white area around the wheel. And erase the stuff that we don't want. Again, you're going to hit preview just to make sure it's going to cut out nice and perfect. Good. And hit continue. Once again, you name it over here on the right. You'll also add your tags down in this box here. Make sure that this checkbox is checked and you'll hit save. Lastly, we need a back piece, which is going to be this one right here. What we're going to do to make this is we're going to hit upload image. We're going to do the same process again. Browse. And we're going to bring in the first planet sphere again. The one that has all the lettering and information on it. We're going to hit simple image and we're going to hit continue. Now we're going to do the same thing again where we select just the planet sphere. get rid of all the white area but this time instead of cutting out this area we want this to stay inside we want to keep this so we're just going to hit the preview just to make sure everything else is cut correctly which it is and we're going to hit the continue now we don't want to print this again we want this to just be a regular piece of cardstock so down here on the bottom right we're going to click that checkbox that says preserve original image that's going to get rid of it and we can then just cut this out of regular cardstock. So now that I have all three pieces imported, I'm just going to select them and import them by clicking the insert images. Now when they import, they're going to be pretty small. They're not going to be the correct size. So we're going to have to size them. So I've already gone through and figured out what sizes they all need to be, so this is what you'll need. You'll need to go ahead and write this down so that way you have the information. We'll bring up the edit panel. The circle disk that has all of the different stars and constellations on it, it needs to be 5.9 inches wide. Then the back piece needs to be 5.98. And then the front piece also is 5.98 because these are going to attach right on top of each other. So now that I've cut these pieces out, we're going to go ahead and put them together and assemble them. Now, like on what you saw in Design Space, I've designed this so that, well, I didn't design it, but I sized it so that this first area that has the times of day on it fit almost perfectly into the line that has the months and the days on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this out for now and we're gonna take our back piece because the side is just regular black cardstock and we're gonna attach it onto the front piece that has all the times of day on them and they match up perfectly and then you'll see the three 
parts right here that say staple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stapler and I'm gonna put it in just right where it says the staple. So there's our first staple. Line everything up. There's the next staple and then our last staple right here. There we go. Perfect. So now our little device has been attached. The front panel, I should say, the front panel has been attached to the back panel, but it's open on this side. So what you could do is you could take some washi tape and I have this really cool star washi tape. Let me find the end of the roll. There it is. All right, so now we're going to take our little disc that has all the constellations for the planisphere. We simply slide it in just like that, and we have our perfectly ready to go planisphere. You just turn it to the day and what time of day that you're looking at, and then use the little area right here to show you what's going to be in the sky at that time. So let's say, for instance, that I wanted to find what was going to be on my birthday, which is May 30th. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find May, which there's May right there. I'm going to find 30, which is that one right there. And let's go to midnight on May 30th. So that's going to be right about, oops, that's going to be right about there. And so if I was looking in the southern sky, I would see Scorpio along the horizon. We'd have Sagittarius off towards the southeast. Leo would be setting over towards the north, northwest area of the horizon. Also in the nighttime sky, we would also have Ursa Major, which is this one right here, the Big Dipper. Then we'd also have Ursa Minor, this one right here. And then of course, the North Star would be that star right there. Um, and that's why whenever you spin this planisphere, everything is going to be basically spinning around that one point. Now, one thing when using a planisphere that I can't really show with the overhead camera is that when you use this, you have to hold it up over your head. If you hold it down towards the ground, you're actually going to be looking at the sky in reverse. So the way that you have to use this is you'll see the it says north, uh, the side says east, that's west and south. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to hold it up over your head and then face the direction that the arrows are pointing for each direction. So if you're facing north, you're going to face north and hold it over your head. If you're facing south, you're going to do it this way. You hold it over your head and then face south so that the arrow points towards that direction. This file is also originally for a um, file folder. So you're supposed to be able to like glue this onto a file folder and then cut it out and do all of that. It's so much easier to do this in Cricut Design Space and then just cut it out. Made life so much easier. So that's today's video. I hope you find this planisphere lots of fun. As we're heading into spring, you'll be able to use it more and more as the temperatures start to warm up. I can't really use it here in DFW because the lights in DFW are really, really bright. If you're in a metropolitan area that has a lot of lights, go out into the country where you can actually see everything. Usually if I leave about an hour outside of the DFW area, I can see a lot more stars. So take this with you, go check it out, spend some time out in the beautiful nighttime sky and get familiarized with the constellations that you may or may not know about. So I hope you liked today's video. If you do, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up to let me know you like this video and it also lets YouTube know that you like this video and want to see more of my videos and crafts. And if you're not already, go ahead and click this button right up here. It's going to be up here somewhere. <laughs> that icon that has my face on it, that is to subscribe you to my YouTube channel. So that way you get great updates on my new videos whenever they are released. And don't forget, guys, I'm still working on the Wreck This Journal series. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And if you haven't checked it out, you might want to check it out and get caught up because there's been a lot of fun stuff going on. Things breaking. Journals getting wrecked. It's been it's been a lot of fun. So make sure to check out those videos as well. All right, guys, I need to get going with a lot more crafts. I've got a whole list of things to do. There's a lot of videos that I'm working on right now. So I will see you next time. And remember, guys, keep it off kilter. Bye.
That's going in the bloopers. Then I show the video of me importing into Cricut 2.0. <laughs> I just noticed I'm wearing Marvin the Martian and talking about a plant sphere. Coincidence? Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> this is the shirt I grabbed. It just happened. Anyways, 